So it is a real delight for me to be here at Portland Nursery on Stark Street. I'm here with my good friend Laura. How are you, Laura? Good, William. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And we are going to be talking today about about plants that help us medically, and medicinal plants that we can use to really better our lives. Yes. I see the beautiful Rosa Ragosa there, so let's just jump right in with that yeah. one. It's leafing out right now this time of year, and I use um, to harvest a couple things off of it. One is the rose petals. Okay. I pick as they open up, and I put them in tea. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's really Yeah, nice. it's really delightful, really adds, um, it's good for the heart okay. um, and opening. And then I also make a rose hip conserve mm. that I brought. You brought some <laughs> a spoon for you to taste. Now explain to me, because I'm no no person of great skills in mm -hmm. the kitchen. What is a conserve? It's kind of like a jam, a runny jam. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. that, that's really good. Yes, and rose hips are really high in vitamin C. So imagine that on your toast in the morning. That'd be absolutely delicious. Uh -huh. Now, going on from that, I see, of course, our, our native kind of plant. Yes, here. yes. This is Mahonia nervosa, or Oregon grape. It's getting ready to bloom. Gorgeous. Yeah. Thrives in dry shade. Um, and once you get a big patch established, you harvest the roots. Oh, really? Yes, and it has a golden color, and it can help with phlegm. And when you're getting over a cold, it's really nice for that. That's just, it, it, I would have never thought that. I would have yep. thought flowers, but sometimes the yep, roots are the, the key, root. aren't they? Yep, and um, it's also good bitter for digestion. Okay, mm -hmm. now this looks like regular old yarrow. It me. is regular old yarrow, and this is what I harvested from my yard la a couple years ago. From 2013. Yes, it's been dried and kept in a cool, dry place. Okay. And I love fresh yarrow for stopping bleeding. So mm. I chew it up and spit it out and put it on my wound. And then also this I use in tea for um, fevers and when I have a cold. So if you're out in the garden and you get a, a, a cut from the, a rose thorn, yes. you have this there, you just chew it up, you put it right on there and it helps with the bleeding. There you go. Very, very clever. Yeah. Now again, these both look like natives to me. Mm -hmm. They are elderberries. They are actually cultivars of the European black elderberry, okay. Sambucus nigra. You can also use our native blue elderberry, Sambucus cerulea. You harvest the flowers for teas for a cold, uh -huh. and you harvest the berries in the fall for um, making a syrup or teas, and it's fantastic for the immune system. And it's nice that you can, I, I think that you, I heard you say this to mm -hmm. me one time, that you can, if you get two of them, you get better pollination, yes. cross-pollination? Yeah, two different ones for cross-pollination on the black perfect, elderberries. Perfect. Yeah. Now there's some brilliant yellow down there. Tell yes. me about that. This is calendula that I harvested from my garden a few years ago. And I use this, I like to make oils and salves. It's got some antimicrobial properties, so it's great for scrapes okay. and, and wounds and things. And again, a plant that grows very easily for us in yes. the Northwest. Yeah, and it even reseeds, so you can get a population going nice. year after year. Now I'm seeing some books down there. Tell me mm -hmm. a little bit about those as well. Yes, um, this one is a great book about our native medicinals. Michael Moore, Medicinal Plants of the Pacific West. I so it specifically deals with what we're talking exactly, about. Exactly, exactly. Um, he's rather comical too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then some catalogs for um, great resources to get um, medicinal seeds and plants online if you can't find them at your local nurseries. Well now, the last thing I wanted to bring up here, Laura, was that there are some really great four inch things. A lot of these almost look like herbs to me. Would yes, that be accurate? It so is. a lot of herbs then are medicinal. Right, thyme is great for clearing the sinuses. And this would be the time of year I would think, please correct me if I'm mm -hmm. wrong, that you would want to plant these items because if you wait till like summer, then you have to wait even longer for them to be ready right. to use. Um, spring and fall are the best times to plant your medicinals. Um, spring for your annual ones, of course. And then two, you know, there's, this is, I mean, at Portland Nursery, you guys have such a huge selection of stuff. This really covers a very small amount of what you all offer in this it's arena. It's true. It's a never-ending learning process. People go to schools. There's many schools in the area that will teach you about it and have the ethics and how to be safe. Yes, and that's a big key. And yeah. you know, you, we've known each other a long time, Laura, and I have to say that no matter how much we know, do we not find there's always more to know. It's very true, yes. <laughs> so if this interests you and you think, I want to get more information on this, I can't think of a better place to go than to Portland Nursery. Talk to their staff, pick up some of these great plants and start a real healthy way of living in your own garden that maybe you had never thought of before. Uh, thank you so much, thank Laura. Thank you, William. <laughs>